Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Porsche Cayman GT4. Next to me is a Porsche Cayman, the entry-level car. Next to that is a Ford Mustang Mach 1. And we're gonna have a drag race. That may seem a bit odd, but it'll make sense in a moment as I explain the features of these cars. So this GT4 has a four litre flat six naturally aspirated engine with 420 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque, driving the rear wheels only via a six speed manual gearbox. And this car weighs in at just over 1.4 tons and it costs from 76 thousand pounds that entry level cayman it costs from forty seven thousand pounds it has a two liter flat four turbocharged engine that puts out 300 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque it's a bit lighter than this it weighs in it just under 1.4 tons however it has an automatic gearbox it's a seven speed pdk however it doesn't have launch control now at ford it has a five liter naturally aspirated american v8 which puts out 460 horsepower and 529 newton meters of torque thing is that car's a little bit heavy it weighs 1.8 tons and it's quite expensive it comes in at 57,000 pounds once again it's rear wheel drive but it's a manual like this car so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, before we go any further, if you're thinking about changing your car, you might need to sell your current car first. You can do that through CarWow, and we'll make sure you get a fair price because our dealers will bid on your car. And then when you're buying a new car, you can also buy it through CarWow, and we'll make sure you get a fair price for that because our dealers will give you their best price. Simple. Now, if you want to do that right now, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll throw the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can just simply Google Help Me Car Wow at a later date, and me and my team will help you get a fair price for the car that you're selling and a fair price for the car that you're buying. And you don't have to buy and sell together. You can sell, then buy later, or just buy whatever. It's your choice. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about it as well. I'd appreciate that. Okay, let's get on with the video. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we drag race, let's do the customary car wire sound check. So I'm gonna start off with this Cayman GT4, four litre, natural aspirated, flat six. We've got a soft limiter, but... Oh, still sounds good, doesn't it? It's all about the induction. Oh, I feel induced. Shall we have a listen to that four cylinder? Go on, four cylinder. Cayman. Do you know what? It's not totally crap, is it? Do you have a soft limiter in that Cayman? You can on cylinders, but I do not have a soft limiter. So the GT car has a soft limiter, and that's the engine you want to hear most, yet the flat four turbo doesn't have a soft limiter and you can rev it all the way up. This makes no sense. The world has gone mad. Now, all we need now to prove that the world has gone mad is a terrible soft limiter on that American muscle car. Maybe it'll only rev to 2000 RPM and we should all just start crying. Go on, rev up the V8. Now, sometimes when you're doing these tests, you can't hear them, but I can definitely hear that Ford. It still sounds like it has a bit of a soft limiter, though. Is there a soft limiter in that Ford as well? I mean, it sounded good. Uh, well, if the soft limiter is at 7,000 RPM, then yes, there is, and that is not. <laughs> Shows how much I know. Anyway, which do you prefer the sound of? Let me know in the comments below. Now, though, let's race. Three, two, one. Oh, bogged down a bit. The normal came as ahead. Oh, all the revs, this is so close. Come on. That was so close. I only just about won that against the normal Cayman. This thing bogged down off the line. I had the stability on and then it sort of like went fine and then it started to slip its clutch. How was it in the normal Cayman? So I'm rolling with traction control completely off and had a bit of a wheel spin off the line, but I managed to keep up with you quite well, I thought. And Mustang, you weren't even in it. I know. Do you want to try again? We can. Right, we're going to have another drag race, but this time I'm not going to sidestep the clutch because I don't want the clutch to start slipping. So I'm just going to feed the power in very gently, see if that helps. Good start. That normal came, it's just gone though. All the revs, hold the revs. Ah. 
So you got a much better launch then, Simon. I was a bit slower. That was the best time. If you'd have got that the first time, you'd have won. So then what exactly happened? Well, the 718 came and won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.7 seconds. The GT4 took 12.9 seconds, and the Mustang was last with a time of 13.7 seconds. Interestingly, the fastest time we've had out of a GT4 was 11.8 seconds, and we've done 12.7 seconds in a normal V8 Mustang, though both these cars were automatics, not manuals. Now we're gonna have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour in second gear. I'm gonna count it in three, two, one, go. Oh yes. Dropping the other cars. I've got all the revs as well. That's enough. I tell you what, I'm surprised that that Mustang can't pull on that Cayman. It's got so much more horsepower. Yeah, it's just fat. Cayman, are you, are you quite pleased with your performance? Pleasantly surprised about that. I thought I was going to get absolutely dropped by the Mustang. Okay, let's let's try something else. This time we're going to do the rolling race from 50 miles an hour and in third gear. Okay, I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, look at that normal Cayman just take off. Well, I've got all the revs, I can hold on. Here comes the Mustang now. No, it doesn't, but it's taking the normal Cayman. <laughs> so I knew I was gonna win that, but the Mustang did a better job that time, didn't it? Yeah, I managed to come past the Cayman at about 120 miles an hour. Uh, but it's a bit of a hollow victory. Uh, it's not even a victory. The basic Cayman actually got a better jump on me. It just took off, obviously, turbocharged torque. I had all the revs to play with, so I was just able to hold onto my gear and keep revving it. This thing holds its own against those two bigger cars. I mean, it really does. What do you think that it's doing quite a good job of humiliating that five litre V8, isn't it? With its, its two litres and its four cylinders. It's like half the size. It's less than half the size. It's nuts. Turns out that is replacement for displacement. <laughs> there definitely is replacement for displacement, especially if you've got a German turbocharged engine. Anyway, brake test. Right, we're gonna do a brake test from 100 miles an hour, which car will stop in the shortest distance. Time to find out, take us the line. Well, do you know what? That's so close. Look, I can't, I can't believe it, but it looks like the normal Cayman is just about beating this GT4 in the brake test. The Mustang lost. Now, the difference between this and that car is, you know, it's fractions. But it still won, didn't it? Odd. Anyway, I found a great deal on a sports car through CarWow. If you want to find out what the car is, what the deal is, click on the pop-out banner there. I'll follow the link in the description below to find out. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Let me know some other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there, to go to CarWow to compare these cars' times to all the other cars we've ever raced.